Hello, my friends. In this video, I'm going to talk about the view attributes. Defining view components within a layout is a critical part of Android development. Let's look at common views as well as common attributes of views. So you want to be a professional Android app developer, but you don't know where you should start, what things you should learn, you came to the right place. Welcome to our top bestseller Android app development course, a comprehensive program designed to equip you with the skills and knowledge required to excel in the exciting field of Android app development. The common views that we'll talk about them in this section and in this course, the text view, image view, button, edit text and list view. Text view displays a formatted text label. Image view displays an image resource. Button can be clicked to perform an action. Edit text is an editable text view and field for user input. List view is a scrollable list of items containing other views. And there are many views that we'll talk about them in the advanced views section and other sections okay so later we'll talk about many views not only these five views but i should mention them the most common views in android let's talk about view identifiers any view these are from the attributes so we have the common views now let's talk about the view attributes. Let's start with the view identifiers. Any view can have an identifier attached that uniquely names that view for later access. You can assign a view by an ID within the XML layout. For example, here we have a button. Later on, we'll see how to define a button. And now I'm using this attribute Android, the two column, the column, and ID. You see ID? This is the ID. This is the view attribute. This is the button attribute ID. Okay? So every widget, every view here will contain the will contain the ID attribute. So we define the ID, the view with the ID attribute. We use equal assignment and then the two, uh, the two codes, double codes, and we put at plus ID slash, and this is the ID of the button. This will be generated by Android Studio. Don't worry if it is uh, if it is complicated. It look complicated. Don't worry. Android Studio will generate it for you. Just type ID. It will give you this. Later on, we will see how Android Studio will help us uh, defining the attributes fast. This ID can be then accessed within the Java code for corresponding activity in on create of activity method okay so we define a button here in the xml we need to use it in the java code so for java i use button button class i create an instance from it my button equal find a view by id we use this method find a view by id to find views according to their id so we define this id here my button i need to use it here and i i define it by using r which is the resources id which is the id of all resources dot my button okay so i use this for defining widgets in the xml and I use this line in Java in order to connect widgets 
by using the find view by ID connecting Java codes with the XML code. Also, it's similar for the Kotlin. We start by val, my button, we define it as a button, find view by ID r.id.my button. Let's talk about let's talk about other view attributes, the view height and width. Every view has height and width properties. Controlling the size of the view, height and width have to be defined in the XML for every view. With the Android, you see, Android layout width, and you specify the width, Android layout underscore height, and here equal assignment, the assignment operator equal, and wrap content. This can take the form of wrap content. Okay, we can specify the wrap content or match parent, or you can put a direct dimension. So the wrap content and just height and width to the content size, match parent adjust the height and width to full size of parent container and a dimension value such as 165 or 120 dp you can identify its dimension in density pixels in uh, in uh, and other forms but we prefer using the dp okay please write these notes on your copybook in order to memorize them fast the views margin and padding this is or these are some attributes for the views. So margins and paddings values for views allows us to position and space elements in a layout. Layout margin defines the amount of space around the outside of a view. Padding defines the amount of space around the content or children of a view. Later on, we will see them in action. Don't worry, we will, we will concentrate on these two topics and these attributes in, uh, in the later videos. Other view attributes. Every view has many different attributes which can be applied to manage various properties. We have talked about uh, we have talked about the common attributes or certain uh, properties are shared across many views such as Android layout width. So we can see them among this attribute, the layout width among all the views. Other properties are based on the views function such as the text color. The text color, for example, is for the text view. You can see it in the text view and the bottom, but you can't find it in the list view, for example, or other advanced views. Okay, so you can you can think about there are common attributes for and shared among all the views, and there are other properties. Every view it contains. Uh, or uh, every view contains its own property. Okay, we can see the attribute the background, which uh, which uh, makes the background of the view. You can use like uh, this, for example, this for the black, and on click, for example, method to invoke when clicked. A uh, visibility controls how view appears. Android hint, hint text to display when empty. Android text, display text in the view. Text color, color of the text. Text size, size of the text. Sty text style, style of the text formatting, for example. Okay, so these are the view attributes. In the next videos, we're gonna talk about the views. We will see the views, how to create them and how to use these attributes in these